within the course integrated design to that as offered on the second year of studies for civil engineering and geomatics we were assigned to present a proposal for a conceptual study and business plan for the reopening of the closed Nicosia airport. The name of our joint venture is Future Revives the Past and consists of 13 persons. Two people were the coordinating team, four are related to urban planning, another four persons are related to the building design and three persons to the business plan as it is shown in the organizational chart. Around the 70s, the at the time ultra-modern airport of Nicosia was the jewel of the Mediterranean as well as a gateway of Cyprus to the outside world. The airport site will be opened for development as part of an integrated solution to the Cyprus problem and it is located 10 kilometers away from the center of Nicosia. The aim is to build that an international aviation hub server. International aviation hub servers are the airports that include commercial and freight and passenger terminals. The aim is to emphasize on sustainable design and on the connection of the Nicosia airport with local and regional airports as well as international hubs of average and remote distance. During the research we had meetings with architects, civil engineers, communication specialists related to the business plan and finally we visited the area. Result of all this was the start of our study as some restrictions were raised and the first steps were determined. The amenities necessary for the appropriate functioning of a hub airport have been outlined in the spatial plan. Two car parking areas, 100 meters in width and 250 meters in length, have been laid out. Located 300 meters away from the main airport, the hub can host 3,000 vehicles in addition to 150 buses and taxis. An automated parking system will be installed in all entries and exits as well as photovoltaic cells which will lit the whole hub. Several fuel storage depots will be located within a safety distance of 1,5 kilometers from the hub. They will have the capacity to serve 112 aircrafts with fuel tanks of 27 cubic meters. The depots will be installed one meter underground and will be 35 meters apart, as stated by the legislation covering the construction of underground fuel storage depots. The depot wall will be constructed with reinforced concrete offering effective fire protection of one hour. Several areas for land services such as aircraft maintenance, land transport and emergency response units such as the police, Fire Brigade and First Aid have also been designed. A helipad will also be constructed measuring 25 by 25 meters conforming to all the specified guidelines. The control tower, measuring 8 meters in diameter and 70 meters high, will be located on the side of the terminal along the runways and will be constructed with reinforced concrete. The engine room will be one of the main facilities of the airport and will include services for the maintenance and repair of the aircrafts. It will be able to host two aircrafts simultaneously. It will be 25 meters high, 50 meters wide and 100 meters long. In Cyprus, buses are the only means of public transport. Buses will travel towards the other two main Cyprus airports, Pofos and Larnake and every 15 minutes towards the central bus station in Nicosia. The only road that will be constructed for this study are indicated by purple color. Two parallel runways, 1432R and 1432L, 4 kilometers in length will be constructed 300 meters apart from each other. In cases of crosswinds, the diagonal runway 0927 will be utilized which will be 2 kilometers in length. It is well established that aircraft noise, especially during takeoff, is particularly upsetting especially in residential areas. Although the airport area is far from residential areas, noise barriers will be installed at the rear of the runways. Following arrival at the airport, Cargo will undergo customs control and transported, using trucks, to the sorting areas where they will be stored. The storage rooms will be under the general supervision of the airport's authorities. 
40 storage rooms will be constructed measuring 30 meters in width, 50 meters in length and 8 meters in height. The total cargo which they will be able to carry will be approximately 1 million tons. In the red areas, photovoltaic parks will be constructed which will cover an area of approximately 2,5 square kilometers. The cells will be equipped with a rotation mechanism which will ensure direct exposure to the sun for efficient performance. Such sun tracking mechanisms are exemplified by sunflowers. The building design team, based on statistics of Dubai International Airport estimated that our airport will service 12 million passengers per year and at rush hour it will service 5,000. So they could define the area of the building for new terminal. We decided to hold a place from the existing terminal as a museum, besides it has an interesting story which defined the process of the airport. The research will take place for the renovation and reclamation of the airport, because many drafts were rejected, and that's why we decided to design two of the decagons which both are combined through the existing terminal. For the layout of the interior we used the bubble diagram method, in order to have an absolute timing. The main entrance and exit of the airport are from the old terminal. In this diagram you can detect the allocation of the interior. We used some elements from the old terminal, like the motive of windows and the lighting mode of roof. The corridors that lead the passengers to the airplane can afford 20 aircrafts. Across the general arrangement and the building design we conclude that the proposal for the reopening Nicosia's airport is going to be an investment opportunity by giving something more than the other airports. The cargo handling will be connected with global destinations. By long term rent contracts much storage will be offered to the companies for their own usage. At these contracts it will be offered 24 hours information service for a specific location and conditions of the goods at any time through the website or from a phone application. There will be offers for landing and takeoff of aircraft and also for modern equipment, security systems and specialized storage room for pets, food, liquids and any other things. Potential partners will be the postal companies with local and global reach, management storage companies with qualified staff and general security services. The customer services aim to catch the attention of the flight companies which do not establish near Cyprus and which they show interest about international flights and they will use the airports as refueling stops. The companies will always be informed and there will be insurance for any possible damage or for any delay of the airport. During the stand or departure of the passengers there will be a lot of customer and entertainment services while they will pass a lot of time in the airport. The airport cost based on the total budget has been calculated in the construction of necessary services as shown in the table above. Finally after the elaboration of the above mentioned date concluded that the amortization of the total project it will probably take 16 years operation of the airport.